Hi book lovers, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about the hottest romance books that I read last year. These are the spiciest and smuttiest stuff that I read. The ones that had me going, wow, okay. So if you're in the mood for something smutty, these are the books for you. Starting off with some hockey romances. There were some good hockey romances that I read last year and the hockey romance of 2023 was Pucking Around by Emily Rath. This book is about 700 pages worth of smut and it is great smut. It is Why Choose. We have one heroine with three heroes, two of which are on the hockey team, they're hockey players, and the third hero works for that team alongside the heroine. She's their new physical therapist, so she gets up close and personal with these guys, right? And all three of them are just absolute suckers for this girl. We have a ton of chemistry, so much lust between these characters, but they're all a bit different as well. One of the heroes, he's got this golden retriever personality and he actually hooked up with the heroine before she even got the job as their new physical therapist. So from the moment that they reunite, they want each other so badly and you can really, really feel it. There's a grumpy hero who's also the best friend of that golden retriever hero and there is some sword crossing going on between them. And then my favorite is the third and last of the three guys. He's the goalie on the team. He is this giant Viking of a man and he is so hot and so possessive. So all four of these characters, they were wonderful together. I love the steam that built up throughout the entire book. They live to give this heroine orgasms. Like if these guys can make a living off of giving pleasure to the heroine, they would take that job in an instant. They're so good to her, she's so good to them. It's just a wonderful romance with fantastic spice and there's a lot of it. Like I said, it's a very long book, but this is one of the few times where the quality of the steam is just as high as the quantity of it. And then another spicy hockey romance is The Pucking Wrong Number by C.R. Jane. This is a dark hockey romance, so pretty different, even though it is another hockey romance like Pucking Around, they have completely different vibes. For one thing, it is MF, and the hero is straight up a psychotic stalker. But if you love hot stalker romances, this is gonna be the one for you. I really love the setup of this one. The hero accidentally sends a text to the wrong number and the heroine is the one who gets this text and they pretty much instantly start bantering and flirting through their texts. And as soon as the heroine sends a photo of herself to the hero, he is gone over her. He falls in obsessive dark love with her. He becomes legitimately unhinged. Esteem does get wild. Like I said, it's dark. So we do have some dubious consent stuff. He literally breaks into her home. All right. It gets wild and ridiculous, but I love a good obsessive hero. And this guy does everything he can to make the heroine his. So he absolutely uses his body to make her addicted to him. And it works. And then speaking of obsessive and possessive heroes, I have to recommend Liars Like Us by J.T. Geisinger as another super smutty read. This is one of the hottest books that I read last year. It was amazing. The Dirty Talk was chef's kiss. This is a billionaire marriage of convenience romance with a hero who has wanted the heroine for a very, very long time. And he also does everything he can to have her, including paying her $20 million to marry him. He becomes like this primal animal when he's around her because he just wants her so badly. They get a little kinky, they have some rope play going on, but this hero's mouth, his dirty talk is perfection. He both praises her and degrades her in the same sentence. So this book was crazy hot with so much fun banter and I'm not gonna lie when the hero gifts the heroine a signed copy of one of her favorite books that is very hard to come by it also made him 10 times hotter. I did read some fun spicy novellas last year as well. One of them is Trick Shot by Kayla Gross. This is a steamy holiday romance. It's MMF. The heroine Sly gets canceled during Christmas and she comes across the hero who invites her home with him where his best friend is also staying. There's some secret hidden identity going on so things do get messy and dramatic but the steam absolutely delivered. I especially loved the bathroom scenes. One of the heroes shaves the heroine and then they start to have some fun. So that was great. And then once the other hero joins the two of them, it's like sparks are just flying off the pages. They really worship her and her body. And there also is some sword crossing, the two best guy friends. They have been friends with benefits for a very long time. And now that they found the heroine, they have made their perfect trio. And then you all know I have to recommend some Jessica novellas, like any steamy 
romance recommendations video from me is never complete without at least mentioning Jessica Kane. And you just can't go wrong with Jessica Kane when it comes to Steam. She had four novellas, I believe, that she released in 2023 before she unfortunately quit. There is My Stalker, My Protector, which is one of her stalker romances. It's a brother's best friend romance. He has been stalking her and terrorizing the heroine for a while. And she has no idea because she ends up staying with him for her protection. Debbie Count's Curse was Jessica Kane's very first reverse harem romance. We have three heroes here and this plot is just absolutely wild. Basically the heroine gets cursed and the only way to undo the curse is to have sex with three guys. There's some forbidden romance, childhood friends to lovers, age gap, a daddy kink, of course, because it is Jessica Kane. There's When the Farmer Met the City Girl, where a farmer, a lonely farmer, meets a city girl and he falls instantly in love with her and also in lust. And When You Know has another psychotically obsessed Jessica Kane hero. This one has a bit of exhibitionism. These two main characters get it on in public and they don't even care because they're so into each other. Next up is a Halloween romance, this steamy Halloween novella that I read for Halloween. It's called Hours for Halloween by Violet Taylor and this book, this novella was wild. I really did not know what I was getting into when I read this one but it was hot to say the least. It's a white shoes reverse harem paranormal romance with three demonic heroes and there's basically this giant orgy that takes place in this book. The demon heroes were truly out there, like I'd never read anything like them before, but they pretty much used everything that they got to pleasure the heroine and make her theirs. There's everything from tentacles and wings to lightning. It's just a crazy and fun time, but definitely one of my favorite reads that I read for Halloween. Another one of my favorite authors who always delivers on the steam is QP Tyler, and last year she came out with Keep Her Safe, which was so much fun. It's a spicy bodyguard romance. The heroine is a famous actress, and the hero has been her bodyguard for a couple years. The book starts off with the heroine finding out that her boyfriend has been cheating on her so this is her chance to finally get with the man that she's always wanted which is her bodyguard. Everything just explodes between them when they finally get together. The hero gets all alpha and protective over the heroine even more so than he was over her as just her bodyguard. And another great thing about this theme here is that the heroine gets to explore so much of what she wants in bed with this hero that she never could with her ex-boyfriend. This hero teaches her so many things and she loves it. Also, he's got some fantastic dirty talk as well. QB Tyler never disappoints when it comes to delivering spicy forbidden romances and this one was another hit. Another one of the hottest books that I read last year was The Losers Duet by Harley LaRue. This one is also white shoes. I mean, when you have multiple characters, more than two characters, you know it's gonna be hot. In the prequel to this duet, the heroine discovers that she has a degradation kink and the heroes absolutely were more than happy to deliver on that kink. And then in present day in this duet, she does something messed up and she has to pay with her body and she essentially becomes all four heroes sex slave. Everything is very consensual but these heroes use the heck out of the heroine and she loves it. There's one super hot scene where they play out one of her fantasies which is her home being broken into and then her being used by those trespassers. It's such a great poly romance. All of these characters are super unique, really interesting to read about, and if you've ever read Harley LaRue before you know her books get crazy crazy hot. And then I have to include Glitch by Brianna Michaels as one of the hottest books that I read last year because it really was. I am obsessed with the hero here, like I would die for this tattooed giant of a man who has this deep sexy voice that he uses to narrate romance audiobooks. He's got the perfect dirty mouth and he literally worships the woman that he loves and he's never even met her yet. They've only talked online because they're gaming buddies. They both have crushes on each other. They both fantasized about each other. This hero just knows that she is it for him. He calls her kitty. He loves to give. He is such a generous, generous man. I just adore this book. It's quick and hot 
and perfect. And then I do have to include Adelaide Forest because I read a bunch of her books last year and they were all wild and crazy. Oh, and dark too. Some are more dark than others. One of them is Wrong, which is a very dark, spicy novella. It's got this forbidden romance, a huge age gap. The hero is the heroine's dad's best friend and he is into some kink. He's into consensual non-consent. So it's very taboo and kinky, but it does get a little messed up because the hero basically forces the heroine to be his, like without her consent. So it does get intense in this novella. There's also the Beauty and Lies series by Adelaide Forrest that I also love. That was also crazy hot. It's a four book series that follows the same couple. It's a dark mafia romance and it's kind of similar to Wrong in a way where there's an age gap and when the heroine goes on vacation to Spain, the hero essentially kidnaps her and makes her his. This hero is on a totally other level with his obsession with the heroine. He's wanted her for a very, very long time. He's had eyes on her for a long time, but he's had to wait until she turned 18 and she finally went to Spain, which is where he rules in the underworld. Adelaide Forrest is pretty much known for writing these obsessive, psychotic heroes, so if you're a fan of those, you'll definitely need to pick the series up. And then the final smuttiest romances that I read last year were by Suzanne Wright, who I absolutely love. She writes both contemporary and paranormal romances, and they're all so good. If you're a fan of paranormals and you haven't read the Phoenix Pack series, what are you waiting for? It's a super spicy wolf shifter series. I read books two and three last year. We have these alpha wolf shifter heroes, these badass sassy heroines who match perfectly with them, and the chemistry is always on fire between these couples. It's also got faded mates and the whole mating process is actually very, very steamy. There's definitely that animalistic shifter passion in these books. And then a contemporary romance from Suzanne Wright that I have to include in this video is one of my absolute favorite reads from last year. It's The Favor. This one doesn't have the same shifter thing going on. Obviously, it's straight up contemporary. It's a marriage of convenience between a boss and assistant, but it's still got the same spicy vibes to it. Like the hero is still totally into the heroine here. You can tell how much he wants her and how long he's wanted her. There's so much chemistry and raw passion and he basically asks her to marry him as a favor. There's also fantastic banter too. Like Suzanne Wright can definitely write some good banter that just amps up the chemistry. I just love this book so much and I love these two characters. Their first time together in bed. Oh my god, it was so raw and so hot. And that's it for all of the hottest books that I read last year, all of the steamiest romance books that I read. Let me know what were the spiciest books that you read last year, if we read any of the same favorites. As always, links to everything will be down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!